we all know recently that uh, that our Prime Minister has done a deal with the United States and the UK to uh, to help us to have uh, nuclear powered submarines at some stage in the future. So I thought it might be interesting to look into the future, look down the years of the future, and see what it might be like for an Australian submarine crew member uh, in those future days, whenever they are. I'm an Aussie submariner, I work beneath the sea. I live inside a long steel tube and it feels like home to me. My submarine is spanking you and I'm glad to be alive and I'm proud to say with you I'll buy uranium-235. But please don't ask me how it works, though I know it may have technology atomic. I just have to focus on accomplishing our mission. Cause the Yanks have said, don't stress your head. We'll do the nuclear fission. But have no fear, we're all alert and we focused on defense. Australians need not worry should hostilities commence. Our enemies have multiplied, they're growing by the hour. So it's all the way. But you tell me what's happening here today. Uh, well, at the moment, um, we're having a rally for Julian Assange. To Is it because he's going to the High Court soon? Yeah, he's going to the High Court on the 27th and 28th of October. What's happening? Uh, well, we're going to have Paul Toner speaking, if I can yes. find him. And uh, Kieran O'Reilly and myself, we've got two uh, singers. We've got okay. Nigel, who's going to sing... Two thousand years have gone by since that murder when killing the messenger made its debut. Now that we're civilized, wise and intelligent, so surely such practices now are taboo. But you talk to Julian Assange and he'll tell you, or ask Chelsea Manning if this is the case, or Bernard Colary and his name suppressed client. You'll find that such spitefulness still has its place. So war crimes are done in our name with our money. The innocent slaughtered, the prisoners abused. And those who give orders and those who pull triggers are thanked for their service, acclaimed or excused. But try to make public those crimes and abuses Or let people know what their governments hide You'll find that the crime of revealing their secrets Is one that our governments cannot abide So Julian Assange is pursued and imprisoned His decency punished his courage be despised, denounced as a traitor for drawing attention to the crimes that our governments have long authorized. But the day it will dawn when his worth is acknowledged by captains and kings as today by his friends, the day it will come when the world will acknowledge the worth of the values that Julian defends. The day will dawn when the world will acknowledge the worth of the values that Julian defends. Thanks very much, folks. Thank you. Also, this high uh, senior court justice, or whatever his name is, he ruled in the case of uh, the Guildford Four and the Birmingham Six, who were like. Um, Irish people who were framed in the 80s. Uh, if you've seen the film in the name of the father, Daniel Day, Lewis plays Jerry Collins. Jerry Collins did 16 years uh, for a crime he did not commit. His father came to London to find him a lawyer. He died in prison after five years. And Jerry's aunt, who was you know, quite a conservative woman, did 11 years uh, and would be in the high court confronting the same judge uh, next week. What also came out recently is through CIA whistleblowers 
uh, was they were drafting plans for the assassination of Julian Assange, and this is this is hardly surprising, you know. Uh, um, I lived for six months outside the Ecuadorian embassy on the street there, and it was surrounded by spooks. It was um, at one point about two months. The special branch had three clearly visible cars parked there, uh, and we're not shy about their presence. Um, but you also, uh, uh, at my first, I, uh, St. Julian just turned 50, I was at his 40th birthday party in 2011, and the guy who did security on me when I arrived was a guy called Ziggy, who was an Icelandic hacker who walked into the US, US Embassy in Reykjavik and offered to do a job for them uh, to infiltrate WikiLeaks. Uh, so the FBI were inside WikiLeaks uh, in 2011, uh, and it just built up and built up, especially as Pompeo took charge so Julian's been two and a half years in Belmarsh, seven years in the sensory deprivation of the Ecuadorian embassy, which was an incredibly small embassy. It was uh, half a floor in a building owned by the Qatari royal family next to Harris, which was the Qatari royal family owned. Um, and living there, like in my alley, I was the only one living in that alley, there were 23 security cameras. You kind of worry, you wonder why English people are regarded as self-conscious to see CCTV there. It's massive, it's like you're, you're on kind of camera. So, um, and there were all sorts of layers of security. There was Harrods security, there were like right-wing taxi drivers doing surveillance. The special branch uh, had an apartment directly opposite. Um, uh, the, 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 a Saudi was running for Saudi princess passing through. Um, there was all sorts of things, you know, happening. It's incredible terrain. I should have kept notes.